Flowering bulbs with their colors, textures, and scents are really fun for your garden and worth the work. Uh, Heather Ryan is a horticultural expert, and she's here to talk with us about planting bulbs. Welcome, yes. Heather. Ah, good to be back. Yes, it's good to be back. We're good to have you back. Thank you. <laughs> I've, been, I've been here. Um, so we're talking a little bit about, there's a wide variety of bulbs. So let's talk a little bit about those. Right. Well, there's um, spring flowering bulbs, and there's summer flowering bulbs. Spring flowering would be like tulips, uh -huh. uh, hyacinths. Um, uh, crocus, uh, even daffodils. Okay. Uh, and then you've got summer flowering, which would be like gladiolus um, or um, uh, hollyhocks, that sort of thing. Okay. Yeah. Yes, and uh, we were talking a little bit about there's some edible bulbs as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, garlic is an edible bulb. I have a picture of this. Garlic is an edible bulb. Um, onions are actually edible bulbs. There's uh, quite a lot of them. Shallots, that sort of thing, are all bulbs that you plant and eat. Yes, and yeah. they're fun to eat. And I told you before, I think I have a black thumb. I'm not a very good gardener. But I read your article in the Roanoke Times about the bulbs. And uh, one thing I didn't realize is you can plant these and get years and years and years of life out of them. Right. Talk a little about that. Sure. Uh, now, lots of bulbs are perennial in nature, which means they come back year after year. Um, and most of those are going to be like heirloom tulips and things like that. Um, I gave my, I sold some to my grandmother when I was five, and they're still blooming now. You know, uh, uh, ten years later. <laughs> yeah, ten years later. Gotcha. Um, and, and I did not realize uh, that was a very interesting article that you wrote. And I did not realize that that they could. That's that's really kind of a neat gift, actually, to give somebody. It's the gift that keeps on giving every year. And right. They remember. And she wants to give me some now, so I'll be able to plant them and uh, continue that little tradition. Yeah. So it's it's great. Um, there are some tulips that will continue to bloom year after year. There are some that you need to dig up uh, and overwinter. Uh, and replant the following fall. Okay, so you just have to remember that. So yes. when you're choosing a bulb, what do you need to look for? Especially well, wanna, here in Roanoke. Right, you want to look for ones that are in our zone, which we're zone 7. Some of the higher areas can dip into zone 6 a okay. lot. Um, make sure uh, that the color goes well with your landscape. Mm -hmm. And um, I would plant a variety of bulbs that kind of go together, maybe taller and shorter in front. Like hyacinths are really short and tulips can be kind of tall. Okay. All right. Yeah. So it's, they're definitely worth the work though, right? Yes, definitely worth the work. There's not too much work. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sound like it. Just, just digging, planting, maybe digging back up. <laughs> oh, well, you sound like a successful gardener. Yeah. Anyways, but you can find more about Heather on her Facebook page. Go to Facebook and search for HHO Hort Consult. And Heather's going to let you can give her a call with your questions. Uh, your telephone number is 583-6396. Heather, thank you so much for coming in. You always offer helpful tips. Thanks. I always love it. All right. We'll be right back.